and welcome to my channel. I want to first give a shout out and a thank you to everyone who has been watching and subscribing the half dozen videos that I have posted. So I really appreciate you guys um, for tuning in and watching. Um, I also want to let you know that things are probably going to be coming out a little bit slower as I've got some really big projects coming up this summer, including some siding, some windows, and some exterior projects. Um, I do want to say if you are in the central Minnesota area and you um, do any kind of that kind of stuff, reach out to me. I'm looking for some quotes and things like that. Um, so some exciting stuff coming up. For today's project, I am working on my door that goes uh, from my garage to my house. Um, so just doing a kind of a facelift. Um, this is going to be an inexpensive um, way to update the door. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I am an, inspired by the Big Bang Theory apartment door. So let's get rocking on it. I'm using a quarter inch paneling that was left over from my kitchen remodel and I've cut it down to 69 inches long and 24 inches wide and it'll eventually sit on the inside of the door. I'm going to use half inch wood plugs that I picked up at my local home improvement store for about two dollars. These will essentially be my rivets that go around the door just like you see in the Big Bang Theory. I've gone ahead and clamped three quarter inch scrap pieces of wood all the way around the panel so that there will be even spacing and that I marked two and a half inch measurements for the plugs all the way around the perimeter. One thing I will note is that you want to make sure that the plugs on the right line up with the plugs on the left and the same thing for the plugs on the top and bottom. Finally I'm going to glue the plugs down with Gorilla Glue and with Gorilla Glue it does expand so just be careful about how much you're using as a little goes a long way. And the last one. Now we wait for it to dry. So here I have the panel on the door. I've gone ahead and measured out how I want it to lay. And um, how I did that, you guys are probably going to laugh at me. But I used my quilting ruler, and you can probably blame my mom for this, but this one comes in really handy. Um, so it's not even on any of the sides for a couple of different reasons. Um, on this side, we did four and a quarter. Um, I just slammed the top and the bottom, drew marking points for, for everything. So four and a quarter on the door handle side because of the door handle. And then three and a quarter on this side. Um, we're three inches up top here. And then eight inches on the bottom so that you have somewhat of a kick plate so you're not actually kicking your panel um, while you're walking out the door. So I've gone ahead. I have all my corners marked. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some power grab. So I'm going to move my panel and I'm going to move my panel and I'm going to put some power grab on, bring it back and um, wah, wah, wah. Over. Hey guys, so we had a fail on the, the power grab glue. It just didn't work. Um, I'm going to go put the door back. It just fell off. So, tip number two, um, I sanded down and scraped off all the old glue, got that off. So what I'm going to try now is Gorilla Glue. This is the original Bonds with Everything glue. It's what we used on the wood dowel pieces. So we're going to try that and then clamp everything down um, and let it sit for um, a little while. Here's what the serious directions say. Uh, spread thin layer of Gorilla Glue on the surface, clamp objects together for one to two hours. So we'll clamp it together for two hours and see how it sits. So let's put some glue on. two hours. Uh, we'll come back and check on it and if it's all good and set, I will continue to paint. 
So here we are with the door completed, back up on the hinges and painted. Um, as far as the paint color, I chose a Pale Honey by Bayer. Um, so I really like the coloring and how it turned out. It's a nice light yellow, but it still gives that nice pop of color without um, giving you too much. So really liking how it turned out. I've had it up for a couple weeks. It's standing up pretty well. So that's great. This project was really inexpensive to do. Just took some, some time um, and some effort to get it completed. So I'm super happy. It's holding up really well. And I didn't have to spend a lot of money and I don't have to replace the door. So great pluses all the way around. Um, so I love it. Um, so I'm going to be working on my next projects here coming up. So make sure that you're subscribed to see those videos. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jessica underscore smoke if you want to kind of get a sneak peek of some of my projects that I'm working on. And until the next video, guys, I will see you later and make sure to subscribe. Bye.